that metal interview. And we have Robert Vigna, guitar shredder for Immolation, Arranger, and I guess you can say the inventor for the great, awesome music of Immolation uh, from uh, the great state of New York, of course. Well, uh, I believe uh, some of the guys are in different parts of the U.S. Uh, I think the drummer Steve is in Ohio. And I believe uh, Alex is in uh, Delaware, I believe. Anyway, so uh, we have Robert Bob Vigna, guitar great, legendary in the death metal scene as uh, the creator for, or one of the creators for Immolation. And so we speak to him. So anyways, uh, let's check out this jam, The Age of No Light. And we'll be right back with the interview with Mr. Robert Bob Vigna. Crushing music, uh, head crushing metal from Immolation, the badass arrangements of Alex 
Ross, Bob, and Steve. Uh, the Age of No Light, brand new album coming up February 18th, Acts of God. You guys can catch them on the road very, very soon here in February. So uh, log on to their socials, Emulation, I-M-M-O-L-A-T-I-O-N. Uh, log on to their socials, uh, check them out on YouTube, uh, support these guys and all bands, um, purchase merchandise, uh, support, download, share. Anyway, so let's go straight into the interview with Mr. Rob, Robert Bob Vigna of Immolation. Enjoy. A uh, new album, Acts of God, uh, dropping uh, February 18th, right? Nuclear Blast Records, uh, 15 tracks. What approach uh, did you take with this album compared to Atonement? Um, you know, same approach, basically, uh, you know, like I always do, it's like, um, it's, it's, we have a similar process each time. Um, I write the music and, uh, you know, I, on the computer, I just sit there and I write different riffs and parts and, and put drums to it and create parts and then put those parts together. And once I feel like, you know, it's ready for a song, you know, like certain things I put together, get a song ready, uh, then I'll send it out to the guys and they pretty much check it out. And most of the time it's good to go. And then you know they'll practice it on their own and then eventually recently what we try and do is get together and practice together prior to the studio so we were able to do that this time it's probably the first time we did that for a record um since i don't know when so usually i write the stuff on the computer we, we practice on our own and we meet in the studio and just start recording we never rehearse anything together new and we never play it live together as a band until we play like the first show of that tour but uh this time was better because we actually you know we had more time due to the pandemic obviously and steve especially was you know he had uh so much more time than he usually does and you know to to take those the, the drums and you know put his own thing into them and, and be creative with them and, and and you know he had a lot more time to do that and add that much more of his cool stuff and his uh you know his nuances and everything so yeah that was the big difference i think is that one that we had a little more time um, in the sense of like, you know, being able to like review all the material and we actually were able to rehearse the material together as a group, uh, numerous times before we went into the studio, which we haven't done in a long time. So, uh, you know, those yeah. are the main differences. Nice. Yeah. That was one of my questions. Uh, who does the riffs and all that, but there you go. So how about, uh, the title, uh, what's behind the title acts of God? Well, it has a lot of different meanings. I mean, you know, uh, for the most part, you know, it kind of sums up the whole record because the record just talks about, you know, like we always do. I'm not going to get into specifics because it's always good for everyone to get their own thing out of the songs. But, yeah. you know, we look at the darker sides of mankind. We look at the darker sides of religion and we look at the darker sides of everything in the world, really, and everything we see around us, especially over these past few years. And, uh, you know, there's very specific things and some people are going to pick up on those things, but that's okay. It's like each song is about something and you know a certain time period or something we've seen uh, in the news or whether it's you know or just something in general but uh yeah an acts of god kind of sums that all up it's all acts of god right so <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um so we kind of like you know that's one way we look at it you know um so yeah i mean pretty much you know it's open to interpretation you know it's like that's one thing we we kind of don't want this record to be is kind of like let people just get what they want out of it because sometimes we get a little too specific and describing every song lyrically and everything it's just more fun when you know people get to listen to it and just get their own take on it awesome awesome album i got to hear the, the whole thing uh fans are gonna love it i dig the intro for news of thorns i love that one oh, awesome cool man awesome glad you like it yeah it's nice to get some feedback because obviously we've been listening to these songs for a long time that's actually the first song i wrote for the record and really? uh, that's the first one that was done musically and you know, so that one was written back in like 2018, you know, <laughs> so it's like we wrote like, I think I got like four songs written musically uh, up until early 2019. And we were able to rehearse those together before we did some of that touring for 2019, just to get a feel for them. And then we did so much touring in 2019. And we went everywhere, you know, all around the world. So yeah. uh, we wanted to get a lot of a lot more shows and touring in, you know, for the end of the atonement cycle. So once that kicked in. I had to, you know, put the writing to the side and I picked up again, uh, you know, early 2020. And obviously that was the plan for 2020, but we didn't expect it to be as long as it was, you know, but uh, that's how it goes. <laughs> but, you know, so we were lucky in the sense that we went out and did a lot of touring and finished all our touring. And as soon as we got back, that's when all this pandemic stuff started. So we had kind of really meant 2020 to be the year of writing and recording. It just got delayed a little bit more due to the pandemic, but, you know, we can't complain, you know, we, we, we were able yeah. to make 
a lot of good use of that time, so it worked out. Yeah, so that, that explains one of my questions, uh, the five-year gap uh, since the tournament. So there you go. Right, and, you know, that was due to a lot of touring, which was good, and uh, yeah. obviously the, the pandemic situations, because we had to wait until we could even get together to rehearse, because our, you know, the states that, you know, Ross and I are in New York, Alex was in Delaware at the time, Steve's in Ohio, so we couldn't even really get together, you know, due to restrictions from the different states and all that, and we just wanted to wait until things were kind of like at a better place, and, you know, once they were, we got together right away, and pretty much booked the studio time, and luckily we were able to go in there with Polar Pino and, and, and you know, get it done. So what's your favorite song on, on this album? I, I, the whole album's pretty good. <laughs> it's hard to pick a Some of my favorites, right. I mean, you know, I like the Age of No Light. Uh, you know, we just did a video for that one uh, that came out recently. Uh, I like, you know, Apostle, obviously. I like, um, I like New Sadorns. I think um, uh, there's another good one. I do Cool, it's just like, there's another kind of standout one, like, uh, uh, let the darkness in that's a really cool one dark and creepy and then it just kicks off and then uh, um, immoral stains really cool kind of different twisted so there's a lot of cool stuff in there there's a lot of dark stuff there's a lot of aggressive stuff there's heavy stuff there's atmospheric stuff so it's it's a lot of mix and I think a lot of the songs have all those elements in them as well so you know it came out pretty cool we're really happy with the record the sound the, the, the music the lyrics everything really you know yeah. Very, very happy with this one. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm a fan of all your albums, and I believe this one, in my opinion, is it's one of the best for sure. It's got to be the best, in my opinion. For that's sure. that's great to hear, man. I, we we appreciate that. It's good to hear. Yes, for sure. So, how many songs are, are you planning to play uh, on your on tour for this uh, from this album? Uh, I'm thinking minimum of six, mm -hmm. depending. I think we have seven in in, in practice right now, but. Uh, yeah, we're going to definitely play a lot, and we're definitely playing, you know, a bunch, yeah, as much as we can, you, you know, as you can imagine, after, you know, uh, whatever, uh, it's uh, like 115 tracks, and, uh, you know, how many years, 30 years, you know, it's hard to pick a set list, <laughs> so, um, you know, basically, we do have some cool stuff, I think the whole set list is very strong, there's a lot of cool stuff in there, um, you know, we tried to put a few old school favorites in there and, and, and a lot of new stuff. So, you know, you're not going to please everybody, but, you know, hey, yeah. I think we've got a pretty good, you know, set and it should be cool. It's going to be strong and, and, and powerful. So, uh, you know, we look forward to it. But, yeah, we're, we're dying to play the new stuff. So we're definitely going to go heavy on that as well. You guys already rehearsing for the tour or Cause it's coming up soon, right? So. Yeah, well, we're going to get together. We'll get together a couple of days right before. Like, we're all in different states. So, yeah. Uh, basically starting like this we'll rehearse the 16th and the 17th and then we'll do the first show on the 18th basically because everyone's going to kind of get together here in new york um we'll rehearse and then we'll head out from here and i think uh yeah we gotta go south for the first show wow from virginia for the first show so uh must be exciting Are you excited for the tour or oh we're super excited yeah i mean well, we're yeah. really excited man it's been a long time you know we were lucky enough to play two festivals last year which was great we did the uh, cycle las vegas fest oh yeah in vegas obviously yep. which was really cool fest and and that was the first time we were out you know playing the show in, in, you know since the end of 2019 so that was really cool and to see everybody again that was our first kind of outing where you get to see people and you know so it was really cool and then a month after that we played the uh the decibel magazine metal and beer fest in philadelphia so that was all that's awesome. right yeah it was really cool and it was just a good feeling to get out there. So we're kind of happy we got to do those, at least those couple of sets, to just to get out there a little bit. And now this is going to be awesome because now we're just doing a full run and we got, you know, Imperial Triumphant with us. We got uh, Mortar Theorem with us. And we also have Black Anvil with us on the last two shows. And then the New York show is going to be a special show, the very last show of the tour. You know, Black Anvil will also be joining us for that one. And we're going to have um, uh, Funeral Leech, which is a local band from Brooklyn, very dark and heavy. And then we have you know, Mortician, that needs no introduction, and uh, Demotion Hammer as well. So it's like a cool old wow. New York band show at Irving Plaza on uh, March 19th. So that's going to wrap up the tour. So, yeah, it's a really cool tour with a lot of cool different bands, all heavy stuff, all, you know, underground stuff. But, but you know, everybody's got their own thing going on. You know what I mean? You have uh, yeah. uh, Imperial Triumphal with the very avant-garde stuff. Mortar Theorem is very dark and heavy and creepy, you know. And, and uh, you know, Black Anvil on the dates they're doing, obviously, they're, you know, more uh, you know atmospheric and melodic but also got some cool you know uh, dark stuff so yeah it's gonna be really good and like i said that last show is gonna be just great we're looking forward to that one as well awesome lineup for sure 
awesome for the for the fans. You know, thank you for putting this together. You know, very cool. Yeah, I mean, we we like to do something. If we're gonna do a headline one, we want to do something with some different bands, some cool bands uh, that have different stuff going on. You know, like the last tour we did in the states with Blood Incantation was awesome. It was just us yeah. and them, and you know, amazing band, super cool guys. We had an awesome time. And it was great, you know, so that's kind of like what we were trying to do, do something with, you know, another couple of different bands that have some really cool stuff, up and coming bands, you know, that are really, you know, doing some cool things. And yeah, to us, it's like you want to make a diverse show. You want it to be cool, you know, and interesting. So, yeah, I think it's a really cool package. And yeah, we're just psyched. And, and you know, everyone's seen more. We already know the uh, Imperial Triumphant guys. and They're super cool. And, you know, from what we know of uh, the Mortiferium guys, they seem really great. So, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be a fun tour uh just with you know great music and just having a good time as far as the set list goes who calls the shots there i mean do you guys uh do you call the shots there with the, the you know this is the set list uh, learn these songs and or does everyone well, we, all, we all kind of go over it we actually you know when we we're doing the video shoots we kind of like sat back uh, about a month or so ago a month and a half ago whenever it was that we did our last shoots and uh you know, said, okay, what are we doing? <laughs> we got to get this going now so we can rehearse. Yeah. So we all just went over and collaborated on it. You know, you know, Steve usually will come up with like a rough thing and Ross will come up with a rough thing and then, you know, whatever. We'll go back and forth and just figure it out and that's it, you know. Um, so it's kind of like everybody just kind of, you know, kind of put it in their two cents and figuring out which which will be the best stuff to do and et cetera. And, I mean, you can't do everything. We all want to do, you know, we have to drop a couple of things we were thinking of doing, but you can only place, you know, yeah, we can only have too many songs. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like that's just the way it is. So uh, you know, we'll definitely try and mix things up as we uh, you know we have to have a couple other things to be announced uh, coming up in the year as well. So we'll be doing different stuff as well. So you know, you just try and change things up as much as you can. Yeah, keep it fun. Yeah. So what's your your favorite part of touring? Uh, favorite part of touring, I guess, is really you know the shows, meeting people, actually you know playing the show, getting to see people, hanging out, you know. Seeing different places, obviously, depending on where you're going. I'm, we're totally into the travel thing. Like, we love going, uh, you know, like if we're in Europe, we're into, like, checking out some of the World War II stuff. We've done that plenty of times in the past. Or just cool cities, you know. We just enjoy the the whole thing, you know. Meeting everybody around the world, uh, playing the shows. It's, it's, it's cool, man. It's, a, it's just a cool experience. We love traveling. We love, you know, sometimes, you know, traveling can be rough. Like when you're doing, uh, we did Asia in 2019 and you know you're flying to every show night after night and you know doing that for like weeks in a row it, you can get a little taxing you know so that kind of traveling can be rough but <laughs> <laughs> but you know in the end you know you, you get to play you know playing like dubai for the first time or playing you know in japan for the first time and all those types of things in thailand and stuff like that it's like wow. it's cool you know it's like so it's worth it in the end you know but it's uh yeah it's just a great experience it's something you can't really you know describe wow. fully you know it's like we feel very fortunate to be able to you know be able to do what we love and be able to do it all over the world you know and just have a good time with it so it's it's really cool when you you know when we sit back and think about it it's like yeah it's just you know it's really a cool thing and, and we enjoy it when we're out there we we all have a good time we have a good relationship with each other so you know we go out and we have a good time you know that's that's right that is really what it's all about and if you can't do that then you shouldn't be out there you know <laughs> <laughs> right I saw an interview where uh, Alex from uh, Cannibal Corpse uh, said uh, some, something similar. He goes, uh, well, it's cool to know that we can still uh, perform uh, aggressive music out there and, and get paid for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's cool that there's, you know, people are into this music. I mean, uh, just like Alex from Cannibal, you know, like when we all started this back years ago, it's like, who would have thought, you know, we never thought we'd be doing it, you know, now, yeah. 30 years later, you know what I mean? And the fact that... The, taken on such a you know the music's come such a long a, a long way you know it's gotten so much bigger and and uh yeah. actually received a lot more acceptance than we would ever imagine so it's it's cool you know it's it's great yeah we, I, you know same thing you know we just feel fortunate to be able to do it and just enjoy it and and kind of spread that out you know because when you go to a show and you're playing the show you get just as much energy from the crowd as they get from you so it's like you know it's, it's just it's a fun thing you know it's it's a positive thing yeah, now you've had a long career, of course, uh, over thirty years, <clears throat> give or take. What inspires you to to keep going? You know, after all these years, you pick up a guitar, write a song, write a riff, uh, get on stage. You know, what, what is what's your inspiration here? I guess we we're, we're into what we do. We really have a good time with it. Like you know, sometimes it's hard to get started on the writing process. For instance, when you're starting a new record from scratch, and you know you have nothing to you know you're just creating stuff out of thin air, so it could be a little rough. But you know, once you get started and 
progress on it, things keep moving, you know, you build that up and it just keeps coming, you know. And I, I think it's just, just in general, everything, we just, it, we love doing it. You know, we love working on the new music. We love hearing the new music when it's done. Uh, we love doing the shows, you know. So it's, it's just something we're passionate about. And even in creating the songs, like, coming up with certain parts we get excited like oh that's gonna sound sick you know, <laughs> you know it's like we're 15 you know what i'm saying it's like we still have that thing we're like oh that sounds sick oh you gotta oh we're gonna do this so yeah you know <laughs> like so we get excited it's like you're creating something cool you know and, and we just we have a good time with it you know and i think that's that's what keeps us going you know and it just and to us that's what we love doing so it's you know it works together you know it's it's great yeah it's keep it fun yeah that's cool so, uh, what's next for yourself after the tour and all this touring, uh, the touring cycle, I guess, what's next for, for Robert and the band? What, what can fans expect oh, next? Well, we're just getting started. I mean, the, the album will be out on the 18th and then after that, it's going to be go time. You know, we have a busy year ahead. Uh, we definitely have uh, things going on here in the States this year. We do have at least a couple of festivals in Europe, you know, uh, at the end of April into May, but that's about it. We'll probably be going over to Europe in 23 because uh, just too much going on over there. There's been tours that were supposed to happen in the spring that either got pushed back or canceled, and things are still a little shaky over there. So uh, we're probably just going to wait till 23 to go over there. So we're trying to plan that out now. Uh, but this year we'll be busy with uh, you know more promotion, more stuff. Just you know anything we can do on our end here uh, to promote and 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 you know get the new record out there as well as touring and stuff so we'll you know we'll be out and about this year for sure so yeah we're just getting started we have a lot of work to do a lot of a lot of stuff ahead so yeah Can we're not in rest mode yet <laughs> it's right. like we're just we're just getting ready to work so that's that's so cool you got a cool career you know i gotta go i gotta go on tour and that right there is just cool you know a lot of uh that's a dream for a lot of people you know uh going out there and touring original yeah, music man. and I, you know, I know, dude. It's it's we you know, and we don't really we never take it for granted. We get out there, and, you know. Sometimes there are some rough times, but then when you sit back and think, like, all right, what are we doing here? You know, it's like, yeah, you know, we still get in the van and we go, you know, drive across the U.S. But you know what I mean? It's like you'll be out there and like, well, you know what? This is still pretty cool. You know, <laughs> so, <laughs> we always, you know, we're very, uh, you know, grounded. You know what I'm saying? It's like we, you know, there's not too many that bad of issues when you're out there doing, you know, what you want to do, and you know getting it out there so it's it's you know we enjoy it we appreciate it we still do so it's absolutely there you go uh would you like to send a message to your fans listening to this podcast uh just thank we want to thank the fans for all the great support over the years uh it's been a lot of years so we appreciate all that support and all the new fans that are you know you know first starting to get into us now um yeah we just appreciate it and we look forward to uh, getting out there to texas and playing some shows definitely check out uh, Acts of God be out on February 18th, and uh, we definitely think if you're into heavy, dark, aggressive music, uh, extreme music, you're going to love it. So uh, just looking forward to seeing everybody out there when we hit the road. Awesome. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for your time, and uh, we'll see you on tour soon. All right. Thank you. Support Emulation. Uh, purchase their merchandise live at the live gigs or online. Check out their website, their socials, YouTube, and all that. So as far as our podcast here, uh, thank you for sharing, downloading. And, of course, uh, choosing our podcast uh, as your preferred way of listening to rock artists and metal artists uh, speak to speak to the fans through here, of course. So, out of, out of thousands and thousands and thousands of podcasts, we are very much appreciated. Uh, thank you guys and girls for uh, tuning into that Metal Interview podcast. So, uh, also, don't forget to check out our radio show, jrocksmetalzone.com. And uh, don't forget to share and uh, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. And uh, as far as the podcast, we're on every every format. Uh, I'm not sure we're on Stitcher, but we're on everything from Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, TuneIn, uh, Spotify, and so on and so forth. Uh, iHeart Music, iHeart Podcasts. So anyways, don't forget to keep it metal. That middle interview.